started in 2011 uh, with a meeting with our manager director, myself, um, when I was in the commercial training team. We didn't even have a learning and development team at that point. Um, we went up to the university um, and we, I think, spoke a little bit about our vision of finding managers for our business. Um, that doesn't mean to say the managers we had weren't any good, but I think they literally felt that they were the finished article. And more than anything, we knew that perhaps they weren't, and we needed to look after them, um, support them, develop them, but also start thinking about the future, because we were really undertaking a massive growth spurt as a business. There was an opportunity there where Victoria was moving into a more people management role, to, to, to look at the impact of leadership management on that business. So we got together and started uh, figuring out what we could do with the people to tackle some of the big ticket items for that organisation and just develop from that from there really. So people in our business that had that talent or had that opportunity to think, yeah, I think management might be, be for me, but they didn't perhaps have any exposure and they didn't have any awareness about how good they would be as a people manager. So we put on a level three, um, and I'm so excited to say that 100% of the cohort has been promoted since uh, achieving their um, ILM level three in leadership and management. It's absolutely key is to try and understand exactly what clients need because our clients will need different things and uh, one of the principles of the way we develop programs and sometimes we describe them as bespoke but we'll spend uh, a good amount of time with clients to understand their culture understand where they are within their um, business objectives and their business planning so that we know exactly how to position the, the learning and development for the people that, that come on the programme and really looking at what that development work can impact their bottom line performance of their business, whether that's increased profitability, whether that's increasing market share, whether it's making a better job of retaining good people. So um, we get close to clients in that way to make sure the development is uh, exactly what they need. Kevin is an inspiration, um, he's an um, excellent practitioner, an excellent facilitator and more than anything it's an absolute pleasure um, to work with him um, and to align our business um, to the what is now the ILM programme here at New Direction. So it's yes it's an ILM programme, yes it's accredited, yes it's the award and certificate of leadership and management but it's a New Directions model. Um, which means that it has value and it's embedded in the day-to-day -day practices of our management team. We leave no stone unturned to make sure that clients are able to acquire qualifications if they want them. And um, at what level people come up, we have what people who are maybe haven't studied at a university for many, many years or maybe never have. So we break down those barriers and uh, make sure that the um, development solution is vocational and that they're actually, if they if they're going to do a piece of work for an assignment, that it means something in the workplace as well. And the difference that the programme, the difference that the Leaders for Management um, programme has on individuals is that they are self-aware. They're also able to see how how best to manage their teams. And I also think they start thinking about their leadership capability, which is really, really exciting, and realising their potential as individuals. And I think because we're, we're looking at how we manage our people, how we care for our people, which is emulated by Kevin as the facilitator, that there's a, a, a link, isn't there, to our culture as an organisation, the values that we have here at New Directions, so that ultimately that's embedded into the course content. And the course content changes, it's changed every time we've run a programme because we evaluate the programme fully. So the university are keen to find out about what went well, what we could do differently, how we could improve. And it's never going to stop improving because of the questions that they ask and that how much they care. The satisfaction really is when you see the results of the organisation as well as individuals growing. So each one of that level five cohort, where there were four people, all had promotion within the, towards the end of the programme. Obviously hugely satisfying but seeing the individuals grow in confidence and talk almost a better management leadership language that uh, unquestionably motivates the people that they, they're, they're working with and gets the best out of their performance. What I'm even more excited to tell you is that our second cohort that are still studying and finalising their assignments, um, we did a little check and as of the 1st of April, 61% of that current cohort have been promoted into a team leader and management role. We are growing our own and that's down to our partnership, particularly with the university, particularly with Sharon and particularly with Kevin. 
we're so lucky as an organisation to be working with the University of South Wales.